December, first day. My name is Greg Hefley. I used to have two brothers, but uh, about an hour ago, Roderick sold my little brother Manny to some people vacationing from Canada, and today, they go back where they came from. Would you like to adopt me? Ah, how precious. Now, if you're wondering how I know this, well, Roger didn't tell me about his plan outright, but it was pretty obvious when he took Manny to the candy store and came back with $2,000 and no Manny. Uh, and I know Mom would be furious if you found out about Manny being sold to Canadians. And, and you know the worst part is? Tomorrow is Christmas! Wednesday. Okay, so Christmas was horrible. Yeah, Mom caught Roger buying fireworks, but he didn't want to stick around to chat, so he got into Mom's car and just took off. So, yeah, I guess I don't have any brothers anymore. But the worst part is that I'm being punished for what Roderick did! Uh, Mom, where's the rest? Oh, sweetie, the rest? Well, actually, that's all of it. Hmm, maybe you have gotten more presents if you stop Manny from getting sold to the Canadians. Also, now Mom hates Canada with a passion, even though it isn't really their fault. But I guess she only cares about Manny now. Anyway, she hasn't even said Roderick's name since he left, so... I guess she's disowning him, but to be honest, I kind of like being an only child, so I'm actually fine with how things are now. Thursday. Well, I officially love being an only child. Not only do I get all the attention, but I get Roderick and Manny's allowance now, so now I'm reeling in a hundred dollars a week! And if that isn't good enough, I sold all of Manny's and Roderick's possessions and made over a thousand dollars! Do you know how many cosmetics can I buy in Halo Infinite? Oh, I'm gonna be so stylish now! Man! <laughs> It looks like my life is actually finally starting to improve drastically. <laughs> Who knew all I needed to do to become happy was to get rid of my brothers? Friday. Okay, so things aren't so great for Roderick this morning. You see, a police car pulled up in our driveway and it turns out that Roderick had been arrested. Yeah, apparently. He uses fireworks to start a force fire, and I thought Mom would be mad at him, you know, for selling Manny, but she was actually a bit upset, and I don't think she was actually really going to disown him. I think she was just, you know, mad initially. I will say though, me and Dad never really got along, but I'm glad we can bond over Roger going to prison since... <laughs> He's always been a parasitic asshole with that useless band loaded diaper. And, <laughs> and you want to know the best part? Oh, the best part is Roderick didn't spend all the money he got for selling Manny, so he took me to a movie while mom just stayed home and cried. And let me just say, <laughs> it was amazing. Ben 10 vs. the Universe, one of the greatest films ever made, is way better in the big screen. <laughs> I will say that. Saturday. Okay, so turns out, Manny and Roderick had actually stashed hundreds of thousands of dollars. So, I bought some new video games, some new consoles, a few expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards, a bunch of Ben 10 action figures, especially the Golden Steam Smite. That makes a perfect addition to my collection. Oh, and, you know, a snowmobile! Yeah, a snowmobile! <laughs> Look at me now, Hank! Woohoo! Okay, 
Maybe I feel a little bad for Rowley and his new friend, but currently, I don't care about him anymore. Besides, Dad got text from Mom saying she went to find Manny. And let me just say this. Manny is a psycho. So, I knew we are dead. Sunday. Okay, so Mom actually found Manny. And me and Dad knew our days are numbered. Oh, and, and if you're wondering what Manny's been doing, Manny has been committed numerous war crimes! He's literally responsible for committing genocide against birds, so we knew we were cooked! Manny, did you do all this? I'm only free! Aw, it's okay, sweetie. And uh, all these fires are actually kind of beautiful. Yay! Oh, yeah. And if you're wondering why me and Dad are so scared right now, well, it's because Dad threw away Manny's blanket tingy. And let's just say he's way too overprotective of that blanket. And we were sure he was planning something horrible right now. Monday. So, well, yeah, Mom found Manny. And for some reason, the Canadian people actually came back, but the concerning thing is what they were doing, because they were buying all sorts of crazy things from Manny, but this one in particular stuck out. Would you like some nukes? Aww, how precious. Tuesday. Okay, so Manny somehow got a hold of the van and ran over five people, so yeah. Now mom is in jail for child endangerment, which I call karma for bringing this cunt back into our lives. But now, it's just me, dad, and Manny. And me and dad are sure Manny is going to punish us for disposing of Tingy. So, it looks like we're cooked. Wednesday. Okay, so... I'm writing all this in a past diary I found in the back of his van, and now that I've caught up on the recent events, I'm now as clueless as whoever find this about what happens next. Wait! Okay, so we are pulling into an abandoned warehouse, and I'm sure these guys are gonna beat me up or something, but I'm just hoping he doesn't kill me. Or, or worse. Thursday. Okay, good news. <laughs> I am still alive. Yeah, the guy who kidnapped me said he actually needed me to help him kidnap Manny and take him somewhere far, far away where we would never hear from him again. Then, no joke. Roderick walked out of the shadows and said we had to sell Manny to a black market organization so that we could live a happy life. And considering how my life's become so much greater after what Roderick did, I guess he's technically right. Friday. Okay, so after a few hours of debating, I finally agreed to kidnap Manny. But I wasn't sure on how to do it. That was until I realized the one place he always goes back to. Would you like some gua? <laughs> ha! Gotcha! You're coming with me! So yeah, I successfully kidnapped Manny. And I took him back to the warehouse. But when I got there, Roderick and the guys weren't there. And I was really confused, so I just took Manny home to think about what to do next. Saturday. Okay, so the last few days have been crazy. Mom's still in prison, and I'm gonna explain what happened to Roderick in a minute. Oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, I couldn't find the black market dudes, so sadly... I couldn't get that sweet bonus from selling Manny, but I still dealt with that little bastard. <laughs> ah! 
Huh. Neat. Also, here's a plot twist nobody saw. It, it turns out the Canadian dude was actually dad, and the Canadian woman was Mrs. Jefferson. You see, dad had disguise so he could get rid of Manny, and he used the weapons he bought from Manny to get rid of Roderick as well as his gang. And I guess I'm his favorite. But now, we just hang out and do whatever we want. Roger's gang left behind a few million dollars in a warehouse, so we are pretty much chilling in our new mansion. Me and Dad have never been happier, and <laughs> I don't think things could possibly go wrong. Oh wait, eh, Dad did come in to warn me about some escape prisoner or something, but then the doorbell rang and he went to answer. Eh, I'm sure it was no one important, but just in case, I think I'll keep this journal close.